Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yeva and this is Juliet. Welcome everyone. <laughs> so I'm super excited and honored that Juliet joined us for this session. And today it will be my first ever session on my YouTube channel where a guest teacher shares a yoga class with you. So Juliet, could you please tell us a little bit what you have in mind for us? Yes, thank you so much for your invitation of having me here. Now, today we're going to focus on backbending because both during climbing as well as in our daily life, we bend forwards all day. We hardly ever open the chest. Eh? We call this extension of the spine. And actually the spine is more flexible backwards than it is forwards. We can hardly believe that, but we have the rib cage, so we are blocked there. Now, if we bend forward all day, over time we become this, the, the hunched old person. So today we're really going to release one, some of that tension, also the restrictions we have on the chest, to open here. So we balance out the body, we balance out the effects of climbing and of our daily lives, as well as we literally create more space to breathe and to feel free, yeah? to move the shoulders, etc. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much, Juliet, for sharing that with us. So now I will leave you with Juliet and please make sure to check the description down below under this video because I will put the links to Juliet's website and her Instagram. So please, please, please make sure to check her out and subscribe or better to say like follow her on Instagram and also uh, give some love down in the comments below for Juliet and let us know how the class went. So enjoy and see you on the other side. Great, thank you so much. Now before we start, you can pause the video for a moment so you can get a belt or a scarf. Yeah, we're gonna use it as a tool in our practice. So if you have a yoga belt or anything that you can use as a replacement, then get it now and then we're gonna start. Welcome everyone, we're gonna start. So come to the front of the mat, bring the feet together. We start with just a few sun salutations to warm up. Observe your breath. Then wait for your next inhale. Bring the arms up. Keep looking forward while you bring the shoulders back. Exhale, we fold forward. You may bend the knees. Inhale, step the right foot back. Lower the knee, lift the chest. Exhale, lower the knee and lower down. Cobra, inhale. Now here you can lift the chest higher. Roll the shoulders behind. Exhale, push back to downward dog. In your downward dog, spread the fingers. Hands are shoulder width apart. And shoulders turn away from the ears. So your right arm is turning to the right. The left arm is turning to the left. And perhaps you want to bend your knees, paddle the feet, warming up the legs. Breathe calmly and try to use your breath to lengthen your spine. On your next inhale, step the right foot forward, left foot back. Exhale, feet together, fold towards your legs. Now inhale, come all the way up. Lengthen up first, then arch back, but keep looking forward. Exhale, release. Repeat, left side, inhale. Look forward, free the shoulders back. Exhale, fold forward. Left foot steps back. Lower the knee, we're inhaling, lift the chest. Exhale to plank. Lower the knees, lower down. Cobra, inhale. Now, if this is difficult, move the hands more forward so you have more space. Elbows stay slightly bent. Exhale. Downward dog. And breathe calmly. Press your hands actively in the mat. All five knuckles are pressing down. And you reach the hips back. Your knees can be bent. And if you notice that your heels are far away from the floor, then walk your feet a little bit more forward and take the feet more apart. This will make it easier for the hips.
Next inhale, left foot forward. Right knee down. Exhale, feet together. Lean into your toes while you fold forward. Then press the feet down. Inhale, lift the chest up. Lift the arms behind your ears. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. One more round like this. I'll lift the arms. Keep looking forward. Your core is carrying the weight. Exhale, fold forward. Right foot steps back. Knees down, chest up. Exhale, plank. Knees down, chest down. Cobra, inhale. Pull the chest forward. Roll the shoulders behind. Exhale, downward dog. Calm, deep breaths. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Exhale, feet together, fold. Inhale to rise up, chest up, strong legs open. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Last one. Exhale, fold. Left foot back, inhale. Lower the hips, lift the chest. Exhale, plank, in control, lower down, don't collapse. Cobra, long inhale, lift the heart up, roll the shoulders back. Downward dog. Use your breath to open the spaces in the body that feel tight. Yeah, where you feel resistance, see how you can work with the breath to create space. Next inhale, left foot forward, right knee sinks. Exhale, feet together, fold. Inhale, all the way up, chest up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Good. We come down on the knees, face sideways. If you have sensitive knees, then make sure you have a towel or a um, scarf for you. Now the right knee stays under the hips. We bring the left leg out. Bring your heel and knee in one line and open the left foot, but keep it flat on the floor. Now from here, we turn the left palm facing up. Hips stay in one line. Inhale, lift the right arm up, lengthen. Exhale, bend to the side. Breathe here into the side body, into the side of your waist and reach the fingertips over. Every inhale creates space. Every exhale you enter that space. Next inhale, lift up. Exhale, change sides. Left knee down, right leg out. Right palm faces up. Inhale to lift the left arm. Exhale, bend to the side. Deep breaths here. Now you may notice it's more difficult to breathe, so don't go too deep and keep creating space with the breath. Inhale to lift up. Exhale one more time, each side. When we repeat, it will feel easier. Inhale to lift the right arm. Exhale, bend sideways. Yeah, within the postures, the body creates muscle memory. So when we go in again, the body has more understanding of what we are doing here today. Last breath. Inhale brings you up. Exhale, change shots. Left arm lifts. Exhale, bend to the right. 
Keep the attention on your breath. Keep the attention on opening the side body. Inhale to lift. And exhale, release. Come onto your feet. Take the feet wide apart. Open the arms. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Now we bring the right hand under the face and notice I'm gonna lift the palm of the hand. So I lift the palm into a 90 degree angle and my fingers are flat. The left hand is onto my lower back, onto the sacrum. Inhale, I turn the left shoulder behind. Exhale, I push the right shoulder forward. I lean the weight into my toes. Every inhale, the top shoulder rolls back. I'm opening the front side of the body. Every exhale, I push the right shoulder forward and I open the back side of the body. Good, inhale, brings you up, arm opened. Exhale, left hand down. Remember, I'm lifting the palm and with my right hand, try to feel if your hips stay on one line. Because inhale, right shoulder back. Exhale, left shoulder forward. Now we tend to turn in the hips, but we only want to turn the shoulders. Yeah, spinal twist here. So inhale is one action. Exhale is a different action, a different intention. Repeat that one more time. Inhale to open. Exhale, right hand down, left hand on the hips. Inhale, left shoulder back. Exhale, right shoulder forward. We work with micro movements. So notice the small movement, the direction on the inhale. And the lower, for lower shoulder going forward on the exhale. Rise up on an inhale. Last side, left hand down, right hand on the hips. Inhale, right shoulder back. Exhale, left shoulder forward. Good. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, we release. Come down to sitting, bring your legs forward. Now we place the hands one hand distance behind the hips. Now we do the same thing as in plank, but just the other way around. And you will notice all the muscles in the back body will be activated. So already here, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart. And then inhale, we lift the hips up. Exhale, we press the feet towards the floor. If they can touch, great. If not, no worries. If your neck feels okay, you can drop it back. Now, every inhale, you press the hands to lift the chest. Every exhale, you press the feet to lift the hips. Keep extending the body like a plank. Keep breathing. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, sit down for a moment, flex your feet, hands towards the floor. Rest the eyes, calm down your breath. Good. One more time, place the hands behind, point the toes, inhale to lift the heart, press the feet down. Keep breathing. Press even the fingertips into the mat. Press the feet towards the mat. You have one leg. Try to squeeze the legs together. Keep breathing calmly. Last breath here. Inhale to look forward. Exhale to sit down. Now it's always okay to repeat these postures a few times more often. So you can always pause the video if you have a bit more time and just repeat them another two times. Good, from here we come forward on the ground. This is what we call cobra pose. Hands beside the shoulders, 
elbows point backwards. Now inhale, you're gonna reach the chest forward and up. And exhale, we're gonna roll the shoulders behind. So if you feel that your shoulders are going up towards the ears, walk the hands a bit more forward. Use the hands to pull forward. So we're not pushing back, no, we're pulling forward. I feel traction on the belly. The front ribs are going forward. So on the inhale, I lengthen the front side of the body. On the exhale, I contract the back side of the body. Make sure you have no pain in the lower back. Every inhale, lifting the heart. Every exhale, rolling the shoulders behind, shoulder blades closer together. Good, unfold your spine on an inhale. And then lay down for a moment, hands under the chin, breathe into your lower back. Keep the eyes calm, the mind calm. Good, hands under the shoulders, one more time. Inhale to lift the chest up. Exhale, roll the shoulders behind. Use the hands to pull slightly forward, like we're reaching out of the lower back. Lift the chest ahead of the shoulders and then try to bring the shoulders behind the ribcage. Work with your breath. Don't extend the elbows, keep them slightly bent. Good, unfold on an inhale and exhale, relax. If we straighten the arms, the triceps becomes inactive. So if we keep that micro bent, then we have the right action to activate the back muscles as well to contract. Now, come onto your knees, so simply push up. We keep the knees under the hips and we're gonna walk the hands forward. Yeah? So this is a great exercise to open your shoulders. So you can keep the hands flat. If you notice you need a little bit more challenge, then come on the fingertips. And then sink the forehead towards the mat. Keep the arms turning outwards. So make sure you're not crawling or you're bringing the shoulders towards the ears. Sink the forehead down. For some of you, the chin, the chest. Yeah, that's of course more advanced. But work with what you can do here. Breathe into the shoulders. And notice how you can use your breath to the release the tension there and slowly open more. Good, our legs. You can do this exercise every day. Bring the right foot forward. We come into a low lunge. If your left knee is sensitive, then use your towel or your scarf to place it under the knee to have a little bit more softness there. Good, we sit towards the calf. So the knee is slightly ahead of the ankle. Bring the hands towards your hips. Now start to lift the chest on the inhale. And on the exhale, press the back foot. So press the top of the back foot to sit the hips forward and down. Now you can stay here. If you want a bit more intensity, then bring the arms overhead. Option to grab the elbows as something in between. When you lift the arms, Lift up and back and keep sitting forward and down. So this creates a stretch from your knee over the hip, over the core, over your pecs, into the shoulders. Good. Slowly release. Hold your front knee. Now start to bend the back knee. Again, take care of your knee. If this is sensitive, place something under it. And take the foot with one or with two hands. And there's two actions. One action is bringing the foot closer to the hip and sinking the left hip more forward. This should give you a nice stretch into the quads and into the hip flexors. 
Good, let's change sides, hands to the floor, inhale to plank. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee down. Remember, your knee is slightly pointing forward, sit towards the calf. We want to open the front of the hip and a thigh here. Bring the hands towards the hips, roll the shoulders behind, make sure you can breathe. Now you may stay here if you want more intensity. Grab the elbows or bring the arms overhead. Use every inhale to create length on the front side of the body. And every exhale to sit a little deeper. If you notice it's really hard to breathe, then press the feet more down. Perhaps squeeze your left butt, right butt cheek or squeeze the pelvic floor. Because yeah, when the legs feel stable, the upper body will release tension and you will have space to breathe. Good. Hold your left knee with the left hand. Slowly bend your back foot. Take the foot. Take it with one or two hands. Now, if this is already easy for you, then there's one more option where I turn my fingers in the same direction as the toes. And then from here, I can really push the heel forward and down. Good. Slowly release. From here we come to standing. This is also a good posture to repeat. Take your belt or your scarf and watch me first before you join because when we have to balance it's hard to watch at the same time. Now I'm going to stand with my foot into the loop. Now I bring the hand backwards, of course hold balance, otherwise hold the wall with your left hand. Then pull the hand towards the shoulder. This should be a little different, a little, little difficult. Then bring the elbow forward and up, not sideways, forward and up. This is a strong shoulder opening. And then if you have the balance, you bring the left hand in. And then from here, I start to sink the belly and I kick the foot into the strap or into the scarf. Yeah, you can join me now. Try not to look to the screen, try to just listen so that you can focus on your balance. Step the foot into the loop, bring the hands backwards, find balance first, then pull the hand towards the shoulder. The elbow comes from under forward, the arm stays close to the ear. The other hand reaches back and then from there you kick the foot back and try to sink the belly parallel to the floor. Try the other side as well. Now this may be very challenging on various levels because we're opening the shoulders, we're back balancing balancing. So don't worry if this feels challenging in the beginning, it will get better. Try to spend the same amount of time on the other side so the body feels equal. When you're ready, Slowly sit down. We bend the right knee, place the foot on the outside of the left knee. Inhale, hold your knee, lift the spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Every inhale, lift the heart. Every exhale, twist. Try to keep the left leg active, the foot is flat. One more breath. Inhale, we turn to the front. Switch sides, left foot on the outside of the right knee. Inhale to lift the heart. Exhale, twist to the left. Take a few deep breaths here. Turn with your breath.
Inhale, return to the front. Good. Now, backbending can have a strong impact, not just physically, but also emotionally. So if you have time, it would be very good to lay down for a few moments. So you can really calm down. And with repetition of these postures, you will notice that in the back, the small muscle groups get more understanding. And this is what creates mobility in your spine. Yes. Thank you so much for joining and I hope to see you uh, again. So thank you so much once again for all of you practicing with Julieta today and big, big thanks goes to Julieta for sharing this class. So make sure to check the description down below and follow Julieta on Instagram and she specializes in backbends. She runs weekly Zoom classes. She does workshops in different cities around Europe maybe the world mm -hmm. and she also runs retreats so yeah give her some love uh, on her instagram and down in the comments below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and yeah thank you so much thank you Julieta. <laughs> thank you so much everybody